Hi, I'm Ben, and I live on my 60-foot narrowboat, Curly Whirly, and I invite you to join my floating adventure. Hello. So, we've made it to the top of the Northampton arm of the Grand Union Canal, and here we've got to spend a couple of days just where there is a lock closed, um, wasn't expecting this one. I knew about one further on, but that one further on will have cleared by the time this one opens. So hopefully we're going to get through in a couple of days time, but it gives us a chance to explore the local area, um, go to the shops. There's loads of supermarkets, loads of different shops that we can go to and get different bits and pieces. So we're not going to go without whilst we're here waiting. Um, and hopefully it's not going to be too much longer and then we're going to get on the move. So since being here in Northampton we've had a little problem with the engine. The engine obviously is now our primary source of electricity. The alternator charges the batteries which in turn powers the inverter which gives us all of our lovely power. However, yesterday the alternator belt snapped or came off, wore away. I think probably because it's been sat not having a huge amount of use for a couple of years probably one of the contributing factors. Um, so I dashed out late last night to a local car dealership, car shop place. Uh, unfortunately they didn't have anything when I presented them with the damaged one, they didn't have anything that would replace it. Um, so I went home um, and after lots and lots of searching and on the internet managed to find uh, an equivalent for a car um, that was suitable. So I went off to go and buy it this morning. However, as always, uh, I stopped for a little chat with one of the boaters who are next door and was just saying that I was off to go and get this thing. And he looked at me and sort of went, hmm, might have one of those. Um, so he, he did look and we offered it up to each other and it appeared to be a perfect fit. Um, so, I was actually able to fix that this morning, get power again, which was amazing um, and has made life comfortable again living whilst we wait for the lock to open. Um, so yeah, huge thank you. Thank you so much for your help. Okay, so we have just heard from another narrowboater ahead of us that the lock that we're waiting for has reopened. So we're going to put all on forwards and go and get some water. Uh, at last we finally might be leaving Northampton. Uh, we'll top up with some water at Northampton Marina and then from there we'll head out to the lock that's been closed and hopefully we're going to get through. Okay, so that is us off on the move again, which is fantastic. 
so looking forward to this we spent a few days just moored up just behind me over my shoulder uh, and now we finally get to move Good morning from a frosty Northampton Marina. We're going to be heading off this morning uh, and we're going to be joined with our neighbours. They're going to come along um, and we're just going to help each other through the first couple of locks uh, and then we'll probably part and go our separate ways a little bit later this morning. Okay, so we've just done Northampton Lock on the top of the Neen. We went through with the guys that we have spent the night with uh, and the guys that we spent a couple of days with at the top of the Grand Union. So we've made it out of Northampton and we are on the River Neen, cruising our way towards Peterborough now. Just the vastness of the river is incredible compared to when we're on the canals and I know that it's going to get bigger as we join the ooze later on in the journey, but this is fantastic. The sun has come out, it's a beautiful cruising weather kind of day. Um, we've just been through uh, about three locks, I think it was, uh, with some friends that we've made since being out here. Um, lots of rowers to contend with out on the water this morning, as you can see over my shoulder. They are going a little bit faster than we are, which is slightly embarrassing, but never mind, we'll, all, we'll get there in the end. So this stretch of the Neen is lovely. It's quite locky. There's a lock every mile or so, which is keeping us occupied and keeping us busy. Uh, and between it, there's a decent enough space to sort of motor along and take in some of the views and some of the scenery that's around. We're definitely getting towards more Fenland way because everything's starting to become a little bit flatter uh, between the locks, got some really good views of just miles and miles of countryside.
just like that the weather changed. It was lovely and sunny and then suddenly got really windy and started raining. Because it's raining I can't use the posh microphone because I don't want it to get wet. So I've got no idea what this will sound like, whether you'll be able to hear me or not. We're just coming up to Wellingborough now. We're going to go through Lower Wellingborough Lock. So we've come a bit further on for, through Wellingborough. Uh, I don't actually know where we are. I should have looked at that before I started talking to you. Uh, this is the A45 that's behind me that you can see. We're on a very straight section of the river. So I've taken this opportunity to use the facilities um, and Pete is having a go, keeping us nice and straight. So we have made it to Earthlingborough, I think is how you say it. Correct me when I'm wrong, because I probably will be. Um, and we've got this lovely spot on the side of the river. We're going to settle in for the evening here. Uh, it's been a long day. We left at seven o'clock this morning and left Northampton. Um, and it's now about five o'clock in the evening. So we're going to have showers because we've got plenty of ultra hot water from the engine. Um, and then we're going to have some food and settle in for the evening um, before making a nice early start again tomorrow. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have enjoyed this, please give it a big thumbs up, give us some likes. Um, and if you want more, please subscribe to my channel, um, My Floating Adventure, um, for more. There's still some more of this journey to go. So watch out for next week's vlog over the weekend sometime. Until next time, thank you for watching. Take care.